Hello everyone, my name is Anton. And as you know, I have a lot of videos about different AI hardware on my channel. So today I want to talk with you about ARM and PU. Actually, there was already one video about ARM and PU on my channel. There was Groove a Vision AI and uh, it was like SSU55. But in that video, I was focusing not on ARM and PU, I was focusing more on seed studio wrapper around this NPU and it was a little bit limiting what was possible to do there. In this video I will work with full-fledged NPU from ARM FSU65. As a board I will use this board. It's a board from 4Links. It's like developer board of course. Uh, actually the and the central processor, it's like NXP EMX93. It's behind this point, like so. The real processor is like this small, uh, but this like developer board, uh, which quite nice. It has a lot of uh, infrastructure around. It. Thanks for them for links for pr kindly providing this board for this video. Without them it would be no possible. So you can find link on this board in the description. Let me wrap up a few words about this NPU chip, about this NXP processor, uh, which can affect your like decision if you want to choose this board. First of all, it's it's a board with a small consumption. Idle uh, mode for this processor is uh, 200 milliwatts and uh, fully working it's around 1 watt. But it's for the processor without all peripheral devices. Of course with them it can be much higher. It's pretty small. If you check my previous video about NXP IMX95 it was more time higher. And for rock chips, it's, it's much higher. For any Raspberry Pi, it's much higher. It's pretty low consumption board, but of course, it's going in cost of performance. So performance here, it's actually smaller than any boards I previously mentioned. Let's go with it. Speaking of this board, it's quite nice and convenient. Uh, specifically with this board, there was a lot of examples from four links with inference on this NPU. But actually, it's also possible to use all examples from NXP, which also uh, were installed in the system. And it's, as far as I understand, it's a standard pack from NXP. I will mention NXP in this video, but if you want a lot of information, probably it's reasonable to check my previous video about NXP IMX95 from DevX. And in that video, I was going through all samples that are available, all prods of export. Here, I just want like highlight a few points from there. All the samples accessible and actually all the samples are super simple to use. Usually it's already prepared Python scripts which you can run and everything is working. From NXP examples, it av it's available on the next runtime inference and it's available ethos uh, inference from IMD. So in my opinion, it's quite nice. Let's speak a little bit more about network setup. Of course, everyone training their network in PyTorch and after that, you want to export them on your edge device. For preparation, the easiest way to prepare networks for this board, it's export them in TF Lite. As the TF Lite exporter, it also was mentioned in previous video, but NXP is providing their fork of Neutron, which is super nice, where you like can choose your own NX file and export it to TF Lite. And actually, it's super simple and it's work. You can export almost any network. There may be some problem with transformer networks, more complex networks, but of course, for most of classification and detection network, it should work pretty nice. If you want to check uh, more information, check my previous video. Expert itself, it's not a guarantee that this network will work on your specific board. But I checked maybe five to six classification networks and five to six like detection network. From the detection, I checked my favorite network, it's Dama Yola, but also I checked like Yola V5, Yola V8, all of them are working. And for classification, of course, everything like ResNets, mobile net, convolutional networks, they work. Of course, there will be limitation on complex network and transformers, reasonable 
of course we, on this board you have pretty small amount of memory of course it's like limited a little bit but expert and it's limited by npu for example like stereo depth estimation it's a problem not solved on modern npu in my opinion and usually you need to use either like super simple network either it will not work on npu so here it's expected that it's not um, not working what i really liked about this board and specifically about arm npu it's the ability to utilize uh, fp16 because fp16 it make your life easier when your network is not expert in direct here it's a small speed benchmark definitely this is not the fastest board it's pretty efficient pretty convenient you can run almost any network which you can export to nnx and to tensorflow like within 10 minutes in python in my opinion it's super cool if you don't need a lot of computational if you need one like one board per camera to monitor something it should work great a small summary i think this specific board is super nice when you need to do something simple factory monitoring for example conveyor belt or control of zones or for example monitoring entrants and so on it's quite nice that this board utilized regular linux it's working with all nfp stacks so you can easily use stan standard methods of integration this board in your infrastructure it's quite nice that there is a slow energy small energy consumption you don't need to solve any problem with heat dissipation thank you for watching and check my other videos Bye.